The final problem we're going to do is number 10. Now second and third hour we set the problem up. First hour we didn't get to setting it up. So I'm just going to show you guys. It's like that last example, example 4, A and B. It's the same type of problem. Okay. You have 40% of a number 56. You want to figure out what the original number was. So this is where we're setting up um, two proportions. Okay. So the important information they give you is 40% and they give you and original number equals, oops, we're trying, that's what we don't know, okay? And we know that the number that they're giving us is 56. Okay. So I'm going to set up two proportions, okay? I know that 40% is 40 over 100, okay? Now if we think back to this number question, if 100 was the original number, 40 would be the number that was 40% of that original number. So think of 100 as the original number, okay? That just means original number, okay? And 40 is the number that is 40% of that. Now we're gonna set that up with an equivalent um, ratio. So we have a line. Where would our 56 go? Well, we look back. And 56 is the 40% of the original number. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for the original number. So we're going to put an X there. We would put 56 up here. Now looking at this, I can't just look at it and go 40 times blah, blah, blah is 56. So for this, it's easiest to cross multiply. So I'm going to cross multiply. That means that I'm multiplying the diagonals. Okay, so I have 40 times X on one side of my equal sign. And on the other side, I have 100 times 56. So over here, I still have 40 times x. Here, we can simplify that to 5,600. Okay, now I'm just simply wanting to get x by itself. It's combined by multiplication. You should be saying to yourself, divide. You don't divide by 5,600. You divide by whatever is next to x. So you divide by 40. Okay. So those cancel out, you're left with x, okay? And then you have, on the other side, you have four, 140, okay? One of your zeros canceled out, 560 divided by four would be 140. Now think to yourself, does that make sense? Does 56 over 140 make sense with a proportion 40 over 100? And it does, 140 should be bigger if it's 40% of that number, and 40 is only 40% of 100. Okay, the way to double check it, okay, so that's your answer. You're gonna double check it by going 56 over 140. Type that in your calculator. 56 divided by 140, and you get 0.4. Do we know that 0.4 is the same as 40%? Yes, you would just move it twice, okay? So that is our double check and it worked. So 140 should be your answer for number 10.